If you're a PC gamer, you've seen those videos countless of times with each and every single one of them promising you 500 frames per second and no delay. But does the term no delay even mean anything? Do people really get a major FPS boost from these videos? And are these sweet loving comments even real? Yes, I'm talking about, and I quote, the best NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming. My plan was to go on YouTube, pick the most recent video that has lots of views, and well, do what most people do and copy their settings without a second thought. And I don't even blame you guys for it. After all, he has like 130,000 subs, so he must be legit, right? Well, I certainly hope so. I'd love to see my FPS increase by 500 for free, just like all of you watching this. So without further ado do or whatever them YouTubers say, let's see what results did we get. Today I'm going to be going over the best in video- Oh shoot, wrong video. So after I applied the best NVIDIA control panel settings that even the NVIDIA engineers didn't know about, I headed in game to witness my 9,000 wow. frames per second. Or so I thought. And while this is far from their FPS boost claims, we still got 3.4% average FPS increase in Valorant, which was the highest out of all games tested. 1% lows were no different, with only the finals out of all games that got a 12% FPS boost, or up to 30 FPS increase. Still, nowhere near 500. Input lag, or click to photon latency, didn't change much, while in some cases it actually increased by up to a millisecond. Based on your suggestions, we also added some more demanding games, and ran them using their ultra ray tracing presets. You know, since competitive games on low settings don't typically put much stress on the GPU anyway. The difference in both average and 1% lows was between 2 and 4 frames per second, so I'll let you be the judge for this one. And here's the input latency measurements with Alan Wake 2 that saw the biggest decrease in input latency by 2 milliseconds or 3.7%. But if you think that's all, you're probably new to the channel. I also made my own quote unquote best NVIDIA settings just to try and justify the bold claims on these thumbnails and see if an FPS boost like this is possible at all. So lo and behold, my FPS skyrocketed to a thousand, but not really. And neither did my 1% lows. That's disappointing. But hey, at least the input latency decreased in some games while others remained on par with stock settings. The same goes for demanding games and their average frames per second, 1% lows, and input latency. Except for Alan Wake, of course, which had the biggest FPS and latency benefits out of all games again. I also checked for frame time spikes and variances, and it seems like my go at making the best NVIDIA settings yielded the best results for me. And here's how smooth the AAA games we tested were compared to stock. Then the competitive games. Looking good, I might say. And to save you some more time without making this video 20 gazillion minutes long, I won't even guide you through the control panel settings. Instead, I made a ready NIP file that will import all the visible and hidden settings automatically, which you can grab from our Discord. And here's how to install it. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and head to the toolbar, click Import, then Import Profiles and select the framesync.nip file. Click Apply Changes just in case, then exit the app and restart your PC for the changes to take effect. Oh, and I also fixed this thumbnail. Bye now, guys.